Hey guys, I just got update 2019.40.50.1, so if you're interested in seeing what's up, stay tuned. Hey guys, so this is a pretty good size update. So we're gonna go through them. There's quite a bit of stuff on this one. So the first thing is voice commands. So basically what they added for this one is you can say a certain, you know, these certain word phrases and it'll, you know, the car will do that. So climate is one, set the temperature to 70, you know, turn on the passenger, <clears throat> passenger heater seat. There's a adjustment for mirrors, navigation. If you wanna, let's go to work, go to work. Where's the nearest supercharging station? I'll take you to near a supercharging station. And so, you know, there's a whole bunch from here. I don't want to go through all of them, but there's new voice commands that you can use, which is really cool. Uh, you know, way more convenient than trying to just play around with the screen and probably safer too if you're driving. So if you, you know, remember those, you can, you can use those to your advantage. Phone improvements, this is a cool one. Um, basically now the if you have, at least I know for an iPhone, I'm sure for, I'm sure for uh, Droid 2, the same thing, you can text message. So <clears throat> let's say that you're, you know, driving around and you have your phone in your pocket and you get a text. Uh, you can set it up through Bluetooth where basically it'll pop up on the screen and you can respond to it straight from the car too. So basically all you need to do is just, you press the right scroll button over here to uh, show the text message. And then basically if you want to respond, you push the right scroll button scroll mouse again um, and you can talk and it'll dictate and basically send off your text message to that person so there is a little setup for that in the launcher call messages or else you can see it but you have to set that up so you only have to set it up once so just be aware of that um, if you want to do that which i think is pretty fun too and pretty cool makes it obviously more convenient because we obviously don't want to be driving around texting um, while we're driving because that's just not safe <clears throat> Um, next thing on the list is camp mode. So you could kind of do, you could kind of do a loophole for this before. So if you were to go to, uh, your AC down here, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. You, if you were to go to your AC down here, it's right here. <clears throat> and so what you could do is you could also, you could just keep climate on before. Uh, but now there's actually a camp mode too. So yeah, so you could just keep climate on before and what that would do is just keep the climate on. But with camp mode, it gives you more options where you can basically, um, <clears throat> it gives you more options where you can keep the lights on and what else does it say? Oh, we gotta turn that off. You can keep the lights on, airflow of course. Uh, if you're playing music, you play music and you can power devices too. So it's basically a version two of just keeping climate on. So that's really nice as well. Tesla theater, um, <clears throat> let's see. So they're just adding uh, Twitch on here. So you, if you wanna use a web browser, you can use a web browser to watch, you know, uh, Twitch, I guess if you wanna do that too. It does require premium connectivity. So like I'm losing that at the end of the year. So, cause I'm not paying for it. So just keep that in mind. You have to have, you have to pay for the premium connectivity to have that. One other thing I wanna to note too, really quick before I forget is I don't know if Elon did that, did this just for this update or not, but when I started installing the update, it said like unwrapping your present, which I thought was kind of funny. Um, that's totally Elon, Elon, right? So anyways, um, that I don't know if that's gonna be just for this one because it's right around Christmas and Hanukkah, but that was just kind of funny. So I thought I'd throw, mention that. Uh, we'll see on the next update if it's still there or not. I'm gonna guess probably not, just because he said, let's go and let's let this one go before Christmas. So anyway. Uh, Stardew Valley is another game that you can that's added to the arcade. Same with Batgammon, uh, if you like playing either of those games. Uh, <clears throat> voice keyboard, so basically you can, yeah. So it says you can use the dictation to input text in your car. Simply tap the microphone icon and on the keyboard and input text via voice control. So basically, that's what I was talking about before for texting. So if you get a text, you push the right school mouse and it'll give you you'll be able to dictate and talk instead of actually trying to type. Tracks.01 is basically audio. You can record audio. So just like you can do the sketchboard for writing, this tracks, now you can actually record audio in the car and you can save it. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you, maybe you're driving around, you're thinking of things, you wanna make notes, this would be a good thing to use. That way you don't have to, you know, pull out your phone or whatever and try to record on your phone. So it's a little bit safer. 
This is kind of an interesting one. Dash cam clips save on honk. So basically, if you if you have this set and you honk, it'll it'll save the clip. Um, so basically, if someone cuts you off or something, you know, you can honk at them and it'll save the clip. The only thing I have a question about this, and I haven't, you know, obviously I haven't have, have, have not have a chance to check this, is does it once you honk, does it cut right there and save, or does it delay? Because for me, this would not work very well because you don't usually if you're going to honk, that's when you're reacting to something happening. So if you're to honk and it starts saving the clip right there, that means it's going to cut the clip. And there's obviously going to be things happening after that. So I'm not sure how this works, um, <clears throat> but I'm going to hope that there's a delay because, like I said, you don't want to cut the clip too early. So like normally if something like that happens, I always wait about 10 seconds or 15 seconds before I hit the dash cam button to save it. So that, that should be interesting to see um, if that actually, when it actually cuts or not. Driver profiles, they added some settings to the profiles where you can, says your driver profile, such as uh, volume level for navigation, gui uh, voice guidance, as well as traffic display settings. So just additional things from navigation that you can, that saved your profile. So it's your, your profile is more tailored to you, which is cool. New language support is Danish, um, which is fine if you speak Danish. Um, the other big thing for this one is which I obviously don't have, that's why you're not seeing it on here, is FSD stuff. So basically Elon had mentioned that there was an FSD preview. <clears throat> and so you have to have preview set on your car if you have that. Um, you have to have hardware 3.0 to be able to see this. And so I only have 2.5 anyways. So even if I had FSD, it wouldn't matter, it wouldn't show. And so I'll try to pull some, some pictures and stuff off Twitter for you guys, um, but what, what was showing up in the preview is basically FSD can now recognize traffic lights. It recognizes cones. There were some pictures of garbage cans on there. Um, what else? <clears throat> cones, lights. And then it's also recognizing arrows on the street. So basically like if you're in a turn only lane, it was recognizing arrows as well. So let me see if I can find some pictures from Twitter. Um, that way you can get the, you know, proper, <clears throat> uh, proper basically whoever, you know, did it whoever put the thing out there get them the proper credit um but yeah so that's the fsd thing is pretty cool too there's a lot of little little things that are going on with fsd so uh, we're making progress uh hopefully fsd will be out sooner than later um because it, you know every update we get it seems like we're getting closer and closer to having full fsd even though i know it's a couple years away but just seeing all these little things is really cool and just you know technology advances really fast and so you know, it'll be here sooner than you guys think. So anyways, that's all the stuff for this one. Um, pretty, pretty nice little update, uh, right before Christmas and Hanukkah. So, you know, if you guys are watching this, happy holidays to you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.